KFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, January 3rd. Markets getting some negative action with some turmoil in the Middle East. The U.S. with an attack on the number two commander in Iran and markets reacting, but pretty substantially off the lows right now. S&P is negative by 15 points, trading at 32.44. You saw the S&Ps down to a low of 32.06 overnight on that news when it initially broke. Dow Jones off 166 points, trading 28,701. NASDAQ negative 32 points at 9,059. Gold catching a bid of $23 at 1551. Oil right now, as you would expect, oil trading up a buck 51 at 62.69. Oil had been as high as $64 at one point. And notes and bonds, we got some higher price and lower yield. The 10 year, as people flocking to safe haven of notes and bonds, 10 year up 20 ticks, 129.09. The 30 year bond up a full point and 10 ticks at 157.29. And the dollar index right now off 60 ticks at 96. 786. Let's start things off. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the indices. And I back things up to where we were last night when the news breaks. And why not? We'll give the headline first on a Dow drops 180 points after U.S. airstrike on Iran's top military leader spikes oil as well. So that news begins to break at about 8 p.m. Eastern time last night. You had the Dow at 28,885, almost 28,900. You trade down to a low of 28,434, now trading 28,666. NASDAQ. 100 trades from 89.05 to below 87.50. We've now rebounded more than 100 points. This market just shakes it off continually. S&Ps, as I mentioned, 32.62. We're up there at an all-time record high. You trade down to a low in the futures of 32.07. We're now trading 32.44. Crude oil gets quite a spike, climbs above $64 at 6 a.m. this morning, currently trading at 62.72. We also got EIA numbers at 11 a.m. this morning, a little bit of a sell-off on that. And the gold contract catching quite a bid inverse with the market gold trading at 15.51. And the euro U.S. dollar with some volatility, the euro trading 111.71. Stay tuned, folks. We got Steve Rhodes coming up live at one o'clock, and then we got our treat. Our man Teddy Kegstad filling in again for Dave White for the Power Trading Hour at two. Teddy talking Forex at two o'clock if you're interested. And Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading day live from three till four. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.